Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal Ketchum. Before we get into today's topic, don't forget to hit that like button if you like the content and hit the subscribe button if you want more. This content is perfect to listen to while you're on your lunch break or your 15 minute break. Now let's jump into today's topic surrounding J. Cole. It has been reported by ESPN that J. Cole has departed from the Basketball Africa League. And in case you guys didn't know, J. Cole signed a six-game contract with the Rwanda Patriots BBC. A source told ESPN's The Undefeated that J. Cole actually departed because of family obligation. Cole made sure to leave on a good note by awarding his coaches and teammates with new gear. While some of us may be disappointed to see J. Cole go so soon, on the other hand, people like Terrell Stoglin are probably excited to see J. Cole leave. Terrell Stoglin is a guard for the Morocco ASL team in Africa. In an interview with ESPN, Terrell said that J. Cole's presence in the African League was actually disrespectful to all the guys who worked their entire lives just to make the league. And I'll play that clip here. There's a positive to a lot of things. Um, if you look at the positive side of, of things, you know what I'm saying? So I think there's a negative and I think it's a positive. You know, the negative part of it is I think he took someone's job that deserves it. You know, I, I live in the basketball world. I don't live in, in a fan world. You know what I mean? So I know a lot of guys who COVID stopped their career and they're still home working out and training for an opportunity like this. And for a guy who has so much money and has another career to just come here and average like one point a game and still get glorified, I feel like it's very disrespectful to the game. and It's disrespectful to the ones who sacrificed their whole life for this. Rapper Rick Ross did not like what Terrell Stoglin had to say about J. Cole and said this during an Instagram Live video. I saw uh, a young brother had an opinion about J. Cole playing basketball in a basketball league, and I got an opinion too. And in no way is this meant to be disrespectful, but first and foremost, should no black man dreams be censored nor limited. You know what I'm saying? And coming from a brother, I think you would understand what building these type of relationships would do for the business, for the eyes on the industry. You know what I'm saying? If your father owned the team and he had to decide between you and Cole, I believe he would find it honorable if you stepped down and let J. Cole bring what he bring into the industry. And more importantly, brother, you should be there to support the brother. If he made one point on the first game, by the time he get to the team, you should make sure he's making six a game. You understand? I just feel like that. You know what I'm saying? If Cristiano Ronaldo bought the team, you would be there for the ribbon cutting, brother. So support your brother. You understand? And more importantly, importantly, brother, if you ever had a dream of being in the music industry or any of the other industries that we are part of, I wouldn't hold that against you, brother. Just bring something positive to the table. If you had a nephew that wanted to get in the music industry, brother, you could start your record label. And not only that, we'll support you, brother. That's what it's about. That's Ricky Rose and I'm signing off. As always, I want to hear from you all in the comments. First, what do you think about J. Cole going back and pursuing his first passion, which is basketball? And secondly, what are your thoughts on Terrell Stoglin's comments? Do you think it was jealousy or was he really being an advocate for the small guys in the industry? Let me know what you think in the comments. As always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.